Silver is unbeaten and on top of his game. He's impressed us before with a TKO win. Now he needs his very best to take the next step in his career. Cruz Carvajal held the belt earlier in his boxing life. Now he's earned a second chance through his recent work. His aggressive style is always a must-watch. It's a summer night in Beantown with two tough combatants hungry for a solid win on Wednesday Night Fights. Wednesday Night Fights is in Boston, coming to you from the castle at Park Plaza. This former armory, now one of the entertainment centerpieces of Boston's back bay. Tonight, it's all about swapping weather with a 12-round elimination bout to line up a contender. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore, and I welcome you to Wednesday Night Fights. Boxing has a way of not following form, but tonight we have a consistent storyline that through the years has provided memorable moments. It's that of an unbeaten up-and-coming fighter taking on a veteran who's trying to get back to the top. It's Mike Oliver against Cruz Carvajal. I'm now joined by my partner, Teddy Atlas. Well, Mike Oliver is that unbeaten up-and-comer, but is this the right fight at the right time to take the right step forward? It's another step, and you have to take steps, many steps, to try to become world champion in this business. He took a step with Gary Stark, who at that time was undefeated, and this is another step, and this is the most difficult that he's faced so far against that man, Cruz Carvajal. That man has fought three former world champions. He has a ton of experience. He's fought the much better opposition, and he wants to get in your kitchen and eat all night long and that's what he's going to be trying to do against that man mike oliver and he's going to want to stay outside not in the kitchen he's going to want to use those great assets with your hand speed and that southpaw style to be able to box and counter punch yes indeed he will be tested tonight mike oliver isn't the only well-regarded fighter trying to stay unbeaten tonight that win is looking for another win the vietnamese born featherweight faces Massachusetts base Castulo Gonzalez there is Castulo Gonzalez from Guatemala but he's been living in the nearby Boston suburb of Lynn 5 5 126 9 and 2 record with three knockouts and you'll notice some familiar names on his list of his last five fights Gonzalez defeated priest Tiger Smalls two fights ago only loss in that last five is to Mike Oliver, who, of course, will be fighting in the main event. Stands opposite 10-0, 24-year-old, very hungry for this win, is that win. That goes by the classic nickname of Dat B. Dat. He has six knockouts among his 10 wins. His life's been one of many travels. He was born 50 miles north of Ho Chi Minh City, the former Saigon. Young as a young boy, his mother moved him and his five siblings to a refugee camp in the Philippines. Then they made their way to American Freedom. He was an amateur star in Hawaii. He earned a scholarship to Michigan. You see, he spent two and a half years there. Now he trains in Florida, but it's a road that has prepared him to handle any challenge in life. It's affecting me big time because uh, for me to see all that and you know, see poverty, see people struggling, and uh, see the opportunities that I, that I was presented, you know, when I need to dig deep, you know, I look at those, I look at those scenes that I've been through, and uh, it helps me through life and, and through boxing, because uh, I know I already been through the hard time, and uh, if I need to dig deep, I'll, I'll dig deep. They are scheduled for eight rounds, and Mike Ryan is your referee. Go. Okay, I, I expect you to obey my command, okay? Let's keep a good, clean blow fight. Good, good, good professional fight. Let's go, touch club. Good luck. The ring experience, you see that Wynn has fought for four years, comparable number of fights. Gonzalez has won two straight since being TKO'd by Mike Oliver in February of 06. He was knocked down by a left hook in that fight. Gonzalez took this fight on about four days' notice. We'll see whether or not that plays into it. One other thing, other time that Gonzalez, Joe, 
when he fought an undefeated prospect, as you just touched on, that was not a good experience for him. He was knocked out. We'll see whether or not he's learned and developed since then to handle this undefeated man in front of him. He was very busy right from the start. That Watch win right to the inside. Boy, does he love to go to the body. Oh, he's being given the body, too. With Gonzalez, as you just said, right in front of him and putting those handcuffs on, covering up. You cover up like that, and you don't move your head, you don't use your legs. You can go outside those elbows and find the body, and that's exactly what Wynn is trying to do. Gonzalez has been in with the tougher opposition. He's going to need that experience with Wynn tonight. Wynn threw 51 punches in the first minute of this fight. Gonzalez able to close ground with the left hook when Wynn opens up. Well, the big advantage I see already is dimension. More dimension to win. Gonzalez can only get it done so far one way. And that's coming in the front door. You can see Wynn is showing you other ways. He's counterpunching. Look at him. He's timing Gonzalez, using his aggression against him. That's a big advantage early for Wynn. He's caught him with an uppercut as Gonzalez came forward moments ago. Now Wynn, showing the versatility that Teddy described on the outside in this middle minute of this first round. You know, the old timers, and there's not enough of them around anymore. The old time teachers would tell you it's not enough just to be tough. Everyone's tough when they get in that ring. Of course, there's degrees of toughness, but everyone's supposed to be tough when they get in that ring. You got two tough guys, and you got one guy who can do more things, who's smarter. He's twice as tough. Right now, that guy would be win. Left hook scored well. This is Doubles a, up the left hand that time does win. This right is, hand comes in from Gonzalez. This is a step up in opposition for win. And how he handles it will be told as the rounds go by. How he handles a steady, tough guy like Gonzalez. Gonzalez has absorbed a lot here early. I'm going to say it right now. If he can handle it, this can be a very interesting match because then he can get into the waters where you test an undefeated fighter and a fighter who's never been tested in those areas. If you like action, this is the fight for you. Wait till you hear these punch stats when we come back.